And here come the players up for the second half. The, this is the heavy leads. 11 in the lead by one goal to nil. So we seem to be heading for a great white and red rose celebration. And there's the Chelsea side led by Harrison Benetti is coming out. You notice him after Harris Hutchinson, Cook. Leeds leading this FA Cup final replay come out for the second half Chelsea know that there's a lot of work for them to do they uh, were second best in that first half to be honest right the way through it and Mick Jones's goal delighted those Leeds fans range behind that goal there hoping that they are just 45 minutes away now from triumph in the FA Cup crowd swaying there and Billy Bremner will it be he who goes up and receives the cup from uh, Dr Andrew Stephen the chairman of the Football Association well the next 45 minutes will tell us Peter Benetti well it got a big bandage now on that left knee and Chelsea fans hoping that he's moving a lot easier now Now the first replay since 1912 in an FA Cup final and the first ever following a Wembley final goes into the uh, second half here at Old Trafford with Leeds leading by a goal to nil. And it's Chelsea's turn to face a very strong breeze indeed here in Lancashire tonight. Lorimer quickly in on the action. Eddie McCready and Bremner with the throw David Webb banging the ball forward Jack Charlton returning it for Leeds Giles with a little touch and Cooper playing it forward you have to repeat, of course, on this breezy night and this well-worn pitch, which is hard. The ball is very, very difficult to tame. Dave Sexton on the right there, the Chelsea manager. So Norman Hunter with the throw for Leeds finds Eddie Gray. Hunter onto the right foot this time. But straight to the arms of Peter Bonetti. Cook and Clark tangling there. Holland steps in, finds his skipper Ron Harris. Here's Charlie Cook. Chelsea will certainly be looking for Charlie Cook to open up the way for them in the uh, second half. And also for Ron Harris to keep tabs on uh, Eddie Gray. Well, here is Gray. Playing it almost lazily forward there. The ball coming off the Leeds United player, Alan Clark, for a throw to Chelsea. Collins, not forward again, towards Osgood. Chelsea will also look for something now from Osgood in this second half. He had a pretty anonymous uh, first game at Wembley, to be honest. And he hasn't really made so far a big impact here at Old Trafford tonight. Lorimer gets it away for Leeds. Giles. Jones gets it back. And an offside against Alan Clark. But Leeds so brilliant in locking a game up. And as the minutes go, there's Gary Sprake. As the minutes go by, they will look to do that more and more to make sure that they keep what they have. 
this one goal lead given them after 35 minutes by Mick Jones free kick given against Charlie Cook and Jack Charlton will take it hit long again Clark knocking it on towards it looked like a handball there by Mick Jones oh good save by Benetti but the whistle had gone Jones saying in fact it hit him on the chest but I don't think there's any doubt at all that uh, it was handball and Chelsea get a free kick Benetti's throw Houseman putting McCready in a little bit of trouble there McCready getting himself out of it well though not forward again again towards Osgood and here's Peter Osgood on the chase now Hunter holding off just for a minute and he tries to bring Hutchinson into it but it didn't quite work again for Chelsea it's Houseman and now Cook buying himself a yard from Billy Bremner Houseman Cook again to Houseman. Time to get the left foot cross in towards the near post. A poor one, though. It gave Hutchinson no chance and Harvey every chance. Here's Peter Houseman. Hollins versus Giles. Giles got the better of it. Harris playing it in again. Hunter getting it away. And here's Peter Lorimer. Down the line to Clark. Lorimer. Stopped by Houseman. Supported by McCready, but a foul and a free kick to Leeds. Which Bremner, supported by Maidley, will take. And it's the lead skipper Billy Bremner with the free kick well third time we might get it right Jack Charlton but Leeds even in the early minutes of this second half taking their time over everything damping the game down desperate to maintain that one goal lead And they are, of course, past masters in taking the heat out of a game. Our leads under manager Don Revy. So the work is there for Chelsea to do. Here's Peter Osgood being pursued by Cooper and then beaten by, oh, my goodness, by Jack Charlton. And Charlton and Osgood and Bob Mathewson there, the linesman, getting in between them. And the referee surely is going to take some action here. The game looked as though it might erupt before half-time. There were one or two niggly moments, and I thought maybe the teams had come to their senses, but surely there's going to be a booking both for Charlton and for Osgood here. And Mick Jones pointing out that uh, one of the Leeds players needs some treatment also. Les Cocker is on. But that's not the major... Oh, it's Terry Cooper changing his shorts. But that's not shouldn't be the major preoccupation with the referee at the moment. But it looks as though both Jack Charlton and Peter Osgood have got away scot-free. Mr Jennings in a very lenient frame of mind tonight. And let's just hope that doesn't rebound on him. And what's he given? A free kick to Leeds. Which Cooper with his new shorts and all will take. But that looked a really explosive moment there between Osgood and Charlton. And it needed a linesman's intervention to prevent it getting any worse. But the referee taking no action at all. So Leeds getting it forward again. McCready winning it in the air. Houseman playing it forward for blue-shirted Chelsea. That's a nice little header inside this time by Osgood who I fancy is playing in a much more forward role in this second half but Jack Charlton that long stride of his bringing it away and Dempsey trying to get back downs Jack Charlton and who's not in the least bit happy about that and not happy that uh, Clark hadn't made a good forward run for him 
But a free kick given to Leeds. For the foul on Charlton. Having words there with Norman Hunter. As the ball is floated in and goes behind for the goal kick. Osgood. Free kick to uh, Chelsea now. Leeds leading 1-0. Chelsea, they remember, came uh, twice from behind in the first game at Wembley. And at the moment they've still got plenty of time on their side. Less than 10 minutes of the second half gone. And here's John Hollins with a free kick for Chelsea. Well, the fist of uh, Harvey and the head of Charlton didn't really uh, make much impression there. And it'll be a corner to Chelsea. Well, maybe it's gone for a throw. I think it's gone for a throw, possibly, with Ian Hutchinson. A throw is as good as a corner. So let's just watch those windmill arms again. And that long, long throw into the Leeds United penalty area. Where it was met by Maidley. Here's Hausman, Hutchinson, Cook, bobbing and weaving, trying to get a yard out of Johnny Giles. In the end, finds Hollins, flicks it wide now. Down goes Hutchinson again, has a little nibble at uh, Bremner as he does so. And now Clark! Clark coming away now for Leeds United. A chance here for Leeds United. But in goes David Webb, a do-or-die effort there by the Chelsea defender and it came off for him, but here's Hunter now, stepping it wide this time for Eddie Gray. Leeds keeping up this pressure now, Terry Cooper now. Can Cooper get to this one? Right beside the byline, chips a beautiful one in towards Mick Jones, but Dempsey's up there and the shot just goes wide. Well, it was Johnny Giles who uh, got on the end of that uh, shot. It was Dempsey who got up there just denying Jones uh, a header. And Giles putting it just wide of Peter Bonetti's goal. Must have just touched the Chelsea defender on the way because it's uh, a corner for Leeds, which Eddie Gray will take. So problems for Chelsea in defence now. Curling under that crossbar. He had it and he lost it and it was knocked off the line there by McCready. I think there may have been a foul on the goalkeeper. Jack Charlton disputing that point. But David Webb making the other point. And Chelsea getting a goal, or rather a free kick. As Charlton goes back to defend. But again, a terrific corner. Played in under that Chelsea crossbar. And a foul on the uh, Chelsea keeper, Peter Bonetti. Cooper. Hitting it high towards that Chelsea penalty area again. Dempsey rising to the challenge superbly. Now Eddie Gray. But Baldwin had followed him. It wasn't a good ball though played by Tommy Baldwin. And McCready with a cushioned header. Finding Baldwin here. Bremner with the throw. Here's Webb. Throw given. Again to Leeds United. Now Lorimer. The Leeds United version of the long throw, but not nearly as long as Hutchinson's. And Chelsea get it away. So again it's Lorimer. Again it's the longest throw. Cook. Giles. 
Well, Chelsea gave that away very dangerously just outside their own penalty area. But a goal kick for Peter Bonetti to take again. Except that John Dempsey is going to take it for him. Collins. Hit long. The chase is on. But Hausman is there being watched closely by Maidley. And back it goes again to David Harvey. Hutchinson towards Osgood. And a good header in defence by Norman Hunter. And Eddie Gray being pursued by Tommy Baldwin eventually gets the ball away for Leeds. McCready on this side. Oh, but he's given that away badly to Mick Jones. Cook chasing him. Brings him down. That's a free kick. Quite a number of unforced errors being made by Chelsea now. And although they've come much more back into the game, Leeds still look, certainly with the goal advantage, in the much more promising position. And now have this free kick, which Bremner, Giles and Lorimer between them will decide who's going to take it. It's Giles. Floated towards Charlton. Mick Jones is in there too. Charlton again just touching it, but Chelsea will get it away. Hutchinson. Cooper's after him, but Hutchinson equal to that challenge. It's a Chelsea ball. Half an hour of the game left. Well, not a very clever free kick. Cooper can uh, pick it up for Leeds and gets it back to keeper Harvey. Here's McCready. Charlton gets there first, McCready again, now Cook, and now McCready. Chelsea still can't find uh, a cutting edge to their game at all, looking very unimpressive in that Leeds United penalty area. Some quite promising work leading up to it, Charlie Cook particularly involved, but nothing on the end of it and Leeds still sit on this 1-0 lead given them by Mick Jones number nine here Jones across the face in fact he tried to get one in by the near post but Bonetti was equal to that one confronted there by Lorimer Bremner and now Cook Baldwin down the line for Osgood here's Peter Lorimer they mustn't let him get that on his right foot anywhere near that penalty area that could be absolutely lethal and over the top it goes from Norman Hunter or rather from Eddie Gray here's Cook Baldwin Osgood making one of those strong runs towards the box but Jack Charlton in fact got the tackle in there but Osgood I fancy playing in certainly a more forward position in this second half 
And Chelsea, in fact, do seem to have swapped things around a little bit because here's Hollins, who played on the right flank in the first half, coming down the left flank here in the second half. Just mix things up a little bit, Chelsea, looking for a way through this very impressive Leeds United defence as Hollins plays it in again. But uh, Cooper there. But then gives it away, Cook playing it in, a little flick there, Hutchinson can't get on the end of it, and Harvey is quickly off his line. John Hollins. Towards Osgood, gets his header in, and uh, almost there from Baldwin. That was much more promising from Chelsea from the moment that Osgood had won that very good header. And Baldwin coming in, and uh, Harvey equal to it. McCready gets it back to Peter Bonetti. So just a little glimmer there that things might be getting a little better for Chelsea. And here's Osgood. Cook going outside him. But Giles takes it up again for Leeds. And Bremner and uh, Osgood getting pretty heavily involved there. And Ian Hutchinson too. Remner clutches, well I think there has been a booking there for Peter Osgood presumably and certainly the leniency of the referee earlier on might rebound on him and uh, there are one or two niggly challenges going on out there now So Bremner goes on, uh, leads with a free kick, Jack Charlton standing behind it. McCready to Houseman. Hutchinson. Harris to Hollins. Good break by Leeds United and an excellent save by Bonetti. And now Osgood. Hutchinson. Collins. Houseman, there was no foul there. Now, it wants a good cross from that right-hand side from Houseman, but it wasn't quite good enough as uh, Osgood and Hutchinson quickly got into the Leeds United penalty area. Jones just keeps it in play. And now it's a throw. Animation there from Don Revy on the Leeds United bench as Bremner pumps it forward again. McCready with the throw. Well, Hollins has come across to take this free kick for Chelsea. About halfway through the second half now. 
And Leeds still leading by a goal to nil. Mick Jones after 35 minutes of the first half. Hollins again. Up comes Harvey. Not really a convincing punch. Houseman tried to keep it in play, but uh, Lorimer bangs it forward. And Jones pursuing McCready here. Oh, good, cool play. Some good defending there by Eddie McCready. And now Hutchinson gets the better of Cooper. Finds Osgood. And now finds Houseman, but he couldn't quite turn the ball back. And uh, Bremner got in there to get it back to Harvey. Chelsea just beginning, it seems, to get their game together. Certainly having as much of the play in this second half as Leeds United after Leeds had dominated the first. Here's Cook again. But time beginning to run down for Chelsea now. And Harvey's call and collects. Dempsey for Chelsea. Leeds United's throw. Eddie Gray leaving it in turn for Terry Cooper and again Leeds slowing things down it's Chelsea you've got to chase the game now Charlton with the header but Osgood still picks it up Oh, and he's played it into space here now for Hausman. A little dink cross in there, and uh, this time a safe catch. Good pair of hands by David Harvey. But just another indication that uh, Chelsea are coming a bit more into this game now. There was a foul on the keeper, it'll be a free kick for Leeds. take that free kick again I think it was because Ian Hutchinson was inside 10 yards and when the <laughs> clock is going against Chelsea it does seem pointless allowing Leeds to slow things down to this extent but Giles now Gray Hunter Eddie Gray again, onto the right foot, not his best. But Lorimer can pick it up. Will he get the better of uh, Peter Hausman? Uh, the linesman decided there was a foul by Hausman. Hausman's not happy with that decision, but it's a free kick for Leeds. Which Peter Lorimer will take deep towards the far post beyond the far post in fact and uh, Mick Jones I think who's lost there amongst all the photographers as the game goes on and Chelsea take it up with Charlie Cook making a good surging run here but uh, showed too much of that to Hunter and comes back and concedes the free kick Marvin Hinton, the uh, Chelsea substitute, alongside Dave Sexton. As Jack Charlton plays another free kick into the Chelsea penalty area. And McCready turning it away expertly to Peter Hausman. Now Hausman knocking it forward. Osgood playing it for Cook. No progress being made here. Time beginning to run out for Chelsea. A little over a quarter of an hour left now. So there's 
Potter and Don Reavy in that Leeds bench know that the uh, victory is little more than a quarter of an hour away if they can hold on to this lead again it's a lead throw and again it's Peter Lorimer Clark overhead Well, that came off Tommy Baldwin, and look how quickly Terry Cooper! Just a fractional mistake there by Tommy Baldwin, and Cooper pounced on it into the box there, unleashed that left foot shot, shoveled away there by uh, Peter Bonetti. Just when Chelsea want the ball at the other end of the field, they're pushed back again as uh, Leeds get this corner. taken by Peter Lorimer and in under over the crossbar for a goal kick and Jack Charlton's taken a knock in the jostling no doubt as that corner came in Again, it's slowing things down. The clock goes ticking on, and Leeds are well aware of that. Well, the Leeds United fans believe they're going to win the cup. they are as we've said before past masters at stifling the life out of a game at this stage leading 1-0 just a quarter of an hour left so the white shirted lead side just 15 minutes away from cup glory here in this replay at Old Trafford and they get a throw continuing to slow everything down they know it's Chelsea you've got to make the running now Harris with the clearance. Eddie Gray now onto the left foot. Throws it in. Lorimer got a little touch there. Jones being policed all the way though by Dempsey. Gets it back to Bremner. Bremner in turn. Well, it looked very much as though that may have come off Charlie Cook. But the linesman's given the goal kick. And Chelsea aren't going to argue with that because it gives them a chance to get it into uh, Don Reeves' Leeds United half of the field. Osgood. Playing it forward again. Up goes Hutchinson. Hollins with the shot. But he hasn't really connected well tonight from that sort of position, John Hollins. But nonetheless, it's a sort of break that'll give Chelsea heart. As we come towards, what is it, the last 10, 12 minutes of the game. Leeds leading 1-0 still. Here's Hollins again. And now Osgood. Hutchinson. Cook takes it up. Osgood's got on his run. And there's the ball coming in. Osgood! A wonderful goal! A fantastic strike by Chelsea. And Osgood who started it. Hutchinson who took it on. Cook then with that lovely little chip. And there Osgood getting in behind that Leeds United defence a beautiful header and the man who scored in every round so far has now put Chelsea level at 1-1 a terrific strike by Chelsea
with just 12 minutes of the game left. When Leeds looked to be stifling the life out of it, Harvey with no chance at all, but what a wonderful chip from Charlie Cook. And a terrific header from Peter Osgood. Scored in the semi-final against Watford, he got a hat-trick against Queen's Park Rangers in the quarter-final. And now a crucial goal here at Old Trafford in this replay. From the man who really didn't uh, do himself justice in the first game at Wembley, but he certainly has here. And now Hutchinson and Chelsea can see the possibilities of a cup victory themselves. They get a free kick. And maybe the tide of battle really has turned now. As Maidley and Leeds United backtrack. And it's Hutchinson who's down injured. Well, they'd had one or two good moves. Dave Sexton's Chelsea side. But that was as good as any in the game. With Osgood starting it and uh, Hutchinson having a part in it. But, of course, the key to it was Osgood's run and uh, Cook's beautiful chip that found him. And there aren't many people in that crowd there that would disagree with that. Well, Hutchinson fit to go on. And Chelsea now looking for a second goal as Hollins plants that free kick in. Up goes Harvey. Good safe catch. Confident throw out towards Hunter. Eddie Gray. In for Giles. But here's Hollins. Baldwin playing it, delicate touch there from Osgood, but Hunter's challenge got the better of Baldwin. And a free kick to Leeds. Terry Cooper with his free kick. Can Leeds now restore their advantage? McCreed is header. Houseman's clearance. Been two terrific matches between these two sides, and it's still anybody's guess. Is that a corner or is that a throw? It's a corner. comes Jack Charlton again ready to launch himself at this corner floated in under that crossbar again headed off the line it was Mick Jones but I think there was uh, an infringement there it was Jones's header but uh, Chelsea got it off the line the referee had spotted an infringement and so the uh, Free kick goes Chelsea's way, which Dempsey will take. Charlton wins it in the air above Osgood. Osgood's done his damage already though, and here's Cook looking to inflict some more on Leeds, but Houseman can't get away. Chelsea's throw. Seven minutes of the game left as we edge towards extra time and certainly the crowd here have had terrific value for money here tonight as Hutchinson tries another long long throw into that Leeds penalty area Jack Charlton meets it with the head Charlie Cook turns it back again Cook trying to retrieve it once more and he's got an ally out there with Hollins but it's a throw to Leeds Terry Cooper, the little touch. Jones right back deep in his own territory. Leeds fans would like to see him much further forward. Now he will be as they get the free kick, which Cooper again will take. Another immaculate game, Terry Cooper.
good jump that time by Webb Bremner trying to keep it going but here's Cook again for Chelsea Hausman a little touch as McCready now storms forward for Chelsea they get a throw no McCready's taking it not Hutchinson no it's going to be Hollins John Hollins and now Eddie Gray five minutes of the game left Giles to Hunter to Cooper Baldwin backtracking but Cooper gets a cross in it's a devastating one as well oh my goodness the feet I think it was McCready there on Bremner possibly the feet were really high then and the referees just allowed it to go on that had to be dangerous play yes by Eddie McCready on Billy Bremner Peter Benetti get out there saying to McCready get on with the game it's uh, going on and indeed it is and it's Osgood playing it now for Hutchinson and he's oh he's hit it into the side netting A goal kick to Leeds and Bremner still clutching his face after that challenge from Eddie McCready. And McCready obviously is aware of the problems that he's caused Bremner as Les Cocker comes on to administer some treatment. But that surely had to be dangerous play. Meanwhile, at the other end, Chelsea almost got through again. Osgood finding Hutchinson, Hutchinson finding the side netting. Five minutes left. Chelsea one, leads one. And Bremner fit to resume. Lorimer. To Cooper. They've made such good progress all night down that left flank of uh, Leeds. They've always looked dangerous down there. Oh, Bremner getting involved again, and Hutchinson too, and uh, Bremner getting involved once more. And uh, Hutchinson saying that Bremner's talking too much, and the referee maybe. You might feel the referee's not talking enough, but certainly he's not taking any action again. And you just get a feeling that this game is one that could just teeter over the edge. Referee insisting uh, back 10 yards as Leeds take the free kick, but it really wasn't at the right angle for Peter Lorimer. And it'd be a goal kick for Chelsea. Houseman. Well, the game at Wembley was exceptional as well, that 2 2 draw. And well, it's not Wembley here tonight, but there's no doubt about it, the crowd have had terrific value from these two sides. And they might even, all we know, get an extra half an hour for their money because uh, we're coming closer and closer towards extra time now. Here's Eddie Gray. Hounded though by Hollins, but he still finds uh, Johnny Giles. 
Cooper coming into the action again. This is where you always feel there could be trouble for Chelsea, but they got away with it this time. Hunter. She's saying so powerful down this left-hand side of Leeds. Good jump there from David Webb. He's had a much happier game than he had at Wembley. Dempsey up for this time, and it came for Bremner, who fell down. The referee saw nothing wrong. Bremner thought there should at least have been a penalty there, and Chelsea get it away again. Cooper. Stopped that time by Cook. Baldwin gets past one, gets past two, keeps possession. That's something to have got past both Hunter and Charlton. And he finds uh, John Hollins. Here's Osgood looking for a chance to shoot, but it didn't come his way as Lorimer brings the ball away again for Leeds United. And finds Eddie Gray through those central areas. McCready closing in on him, though. Hunter playing it in with a nice little chip there towards Lorimer. Being chased by Webb and Chelsea get a throw. Playing time added on for injuries and time wasting at the end of 90 minutes now. Welcome Leeds. Yet do something right at the very last, and it's Eddie Gray who pops it over the top. Thought for a moment they were going to deny us the need for extra time. It was on the right foot for Eddie Gray, over the crossbar it went, Chelsea's free kick. Benetti still unable to take them after that uh, first half injury. Cooper and it looks as though it might yet come down to a test of stamina as well as nerve here looks as certainly now that we're going to have extra time unless unless Peter Hausman can open things up for Chelsea but Maidley's got back finds Osgood the long legs of Jack Charlton sticking out and holding Chelsea up and leads Pull it away again, into a lot of space here now for Peter Lorimer. Towards the far post, and Jones coming in on the far side. It was a very difficult angle for him. But I mean, at both ends there, at the end of this pulsating night, there were gaps in the defence that could have been exploited by uh, both sets of attacks. But in the end, it remains at 1-1 as Chelsea take the goal kick and there goes the whistle for the end of 90 minutes and we shall go into extra time with Mick Jones's goal in the first half being equaled by one uh, from Peter Osgood for Chelsea in the second half and at the end of 90 minutes is Chelsea 1 Leeds United 1 So now we await then the first period of extra time. With oh, Peter Benetti there, he's obviously just gone off to the dressing room for some additional treatment to that left knee of his that was injured in the first half of the game. There he is with Dave Sexton, the Chelsea manager, just behind him. Well, he's kept going very well, but uh, the Chelsea defence will be hoping that they... Uh, can prevent him having a lot to do in this 30 minutes of extra time which Leeds United will kick off so neither substitute is on Bates of Leeds or Hinton of Chelsea and Leeds get this first period of extra time underway 
attacking the goal to our left as they did in the first half of the match Cooper and they'll hope for the same sort of response with that Mick Jones goal of course but here's Charlie Cook maybe the pendulum has swung a little bit Chelsea's way now as Osgood a little dummy there and room on the far side for Hollins to play it in but too far for Hutchinson and a goal kick for Leeds United so saying what a battle it is for Leeds United to get this bit of cup glory with three matches against Manchester United they needed two replays in the semi-final they've needed extra time at Wembley in the final they've needed extra time here it's been a real slog for Don Reeves men and they get a free kick here Jones going towards that Chelsea penalty area Peter Lorimer with it floating it in but a safe catch for Bonetti and a throw out that he hoped would release Osgood Here's Eddie Gray. Collins picks up the loose ball. And down the line for Peter Hausman, but Hausman is offside. picked up though by McCready in turn picked up by Giles finding Maidley Giles into Bremner oh, that was a good challenge there by Cook and a timely one as well and a good run out of defence by Charlie Cook but the pass to Hutchinson wasn't good he's made something of it though and he in turn has picked up Tommy Baldwin on the far side comes Hutchinson or rather uh, Osgood and uh, Harvey getting tangled up there with Osgood here's Gray Lorimer and Hollins holding off the threats of Eddie Gray but then Gray nonetheless gets the ball back to Lorimer. Here's his cross again towards Mick Jones. And now Giles, time to tee up a shot. No, he's uh, decided to play a little ball across the, the uh, penalty area towards Lorimer. But then offside flag had gone up. It's going to be a free kick to Chelsea. So David Webb with it. Giles. Left foot, no power, no problem. Jack Charlton game just at the moment looks particularly shapeless and uh, hasn't quite picked up from the excitement really of the last part of the uh, second half that we had here but here's Giles Playing the ball forward to Maidley. That's the first time Maidley had gone that far forward. And uh, he prevents the ball from going for the goal kick. It will be a Chelsea throw instead, which David Webb is going to leave for John Hollins. It's 
It's almost as though both sides are just drawing breath, waiting for a real big challenge later on in this period of extra time, or indeed in the second half of it. Chelsea with a free kick now. Goes uh, Peter Osgood and Hutchinson again up there. McCready, challenged by Peter Lorimer. McCready dare not miss that one. Onto the right foot. Giles. Down the line for Hunter. Long cross, but no value at all. Eddie Gray has gone to the uh, far wing, and Ron Harris has followed him out there. That's why uh, Eddie McCready is on this side, for the time being at any rate. Collins, Harris. Maybe couldn't keep it in play, it'll be a Chelsea throw which Hausman will take, and take quickly, and release Osgood. But Jack Charlton's across there, and it'll be, well, exactly the right angle for Ian Hutchinson's long throw. And there's number 10, Hutchinson, getting across there. Charlie Cook, for a moment, thought it was a free kick, but in fact, the referee Jennings saying, no, 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 it's a throw. Notice again, send a quiver through the Leeds United defence. There's that long throw again. But Bremner with the clearance. Causes a little problem every time Hutchinson uh, hurls one of those long throws into the Leeds penalty area. But at the moment, it's Eddie Gray over on that far touchline now. And McCready... Banging it forward. Maidley getting it back. Cooper. Eddie Gray. Gets it forward to Clark. And out of Hunter. Baldwin did well. So did Cooper. And again, Chelsea get it away, but not very convincingly. Osgood very deep. Collins planting it forward. Now Cook. So it's a lead throw. Giles. Trying to open up things with Eddie Gray. Giles again. Looking around to see whether possibly Bremner's going to be there. But in fact he's found Mick Jones. Maybe. A lot of probing going on here. Looking for an opening. But both defences at the moment looking pretty solid. Leads with a throw here, which Alan Clark is going to leave for Lorimer. The back header from Gray. Clearance by Hollins. Picked up by Cooper, though. Shadowed by Baldwin. And a free kick given. So a free kick to Leeds. Ten minutes of this first period of extra time gone. 
Played in towards the far post there. Important header there by Dempsey. Lorimer under the right foot. Good work by Bonetti. A real snapshot there from Peter Lorimer. And Bonetti nicely positioned behind it. And Leeds again looking dangerous as Maidley plays it in once more. But that's far too close to the Chelsea keeper. And there'd been an infringement out there in any case, so it'll be a Chelsea free kick. And it'll be John Dempsey who takes it. Houseman. Playing it there to Osgood! Over the top. Chances beginning to appear at both ends, half chances at any rate, as Norman Hunter got an attack of the cramp and Jack Charlton rubbing the leg that he was injured in the second half. It's been a relentless pace here at Old Trafford tonight. Still, Hunter can afford a smile, but really at the end of extra time. Game so beautifully poised here at 1-1. As we come towards the end of the first period of extra time. Hollins. There's Maidley's header. Hollins again. McCready planting it forward. Hunter just keeping it in play. Challenged by Hausman. And Lorimer in the 10 and uh, knocks it back to David Harvey. Still Hunter suffering with that attack of cramp. with Bob Mathewson, David Webb who's had a terrific game at the back tonight for Chelsea referee keeps looking at the watch and there'll be quite a little bit of time to be added on at the end of this period of extra time now Osgood takes a little break while well, the battle stops but uh, so too does Cooper but uh, Hunter's back on his feet again now and another throw for Chelsea again it's Ian Hutchinson trying to release Hausman and again well there's another possibility for Hutchinson here the good angle for him with this long throw Charlie Cook went towards him and Hutchinson said no let's try one a longer one into the uh, Leeds box again just to see what that might produce it's a good long one knocked on again towards David Webb and Chelsea are in the lead for the long throw of Ian Hutchinson it was touched on and the big defender David Webb who'd had such a terrible time in the first game at Wembley has managed to bundle it past Harvey and into the net. The little flick on, up goes Webb. Whether it was a header or whether it came off his chest, he doesn't mind and neither do the Chelsea fans. But now, for the first time, both at Wembley and at Old Trafford, Chelsea are in the lead. Right on the stroke of half-time in extra time. Well, those long throws of Ian Hutchinson that had caused problems right through the night for Leeds United really paid off for Chelsea there so David Webb claims the goal Bremner goes down on the challenge by Cook 
and the temperature's rising all the time now. But it's a free kick for Leeds. And they know that this is the sort of situation they've got to make play for them now. Time running out for them. Right at the end of the first period of extra time. Giles flighting it towards the far post. Mick Jones going in there. Jones turning it back again. Webb got a valuable header there for Chelsea. And finally Chelsea clear their lines out to Hausman. But Leeds within an ace of getting an equaliser there. As the whistle goes for the end of the first period of extra time. And Chelsea now in a priceless 2-1 lead. Thanks to that long throw from Ian Hutchinson. And the header from David Webb. But 15 minutes are left. Can Chelsea hang on? The game has been played at such a pace. With such energy being used. And you just wonder whether something might give at the very end. But here's the moment that Chelsea fans have been waiting for. The long throw. Knocked on there. And Webb, who finished it off. Baldwin was right in there as well. The keeper was in there as well. And so was Lorimer. But it was Webb who claimed the goal. And how he claimed it. Such a valuable uh, knock on there. So a quick turnaround here in between those 15 minute periods of extra time. And it's the Chelsea favours that are showing now at Old Trafford. As Dave Sexton's men look to hold the position they fought so hard to maintain. A 2-1 advantage in the 15 minutes that remain. It's not going to be easy because one thing is certain and that is that Leeds will throw everything at them. And Leeds then with the throw. And I've no doubt the longer this period of extra time goes on that big Jack Charlton would be pushed more and more into an attacking position. And it'll come to the point soon where Leeds do have to take risks at the back in order to try and get something uh, up front and here they come again with Eddie Gray Lorimer trying to make something of it as well there's a good cross coming in there from Cooper Mick Jones is up there even on the edge of the box as Jack Charlton has come up from the back Lorimer and uh, the whistle had gone an infringement that gives Chelsea the free kick on the edge of their own penalty area but they are the fiercest competitors imaginable, our Leeds, and uh, they will go for Chelsea's throat in this 15 minutes that remain in this game to try and get this situation back in their favour. But here's Hausman. But Maidley gets the better of him. Plays it inside. On by Giles to Bremner. Being chased by Hollins. Wasn't the best of balls by Bremner, but Leeds get a throw. Chelsea fans celebrating, but is it too soon? Cooper with this throw. There has to be a real degree of urgency about Leeds United's play now. Charlton to Hunter and Alpha Gray here's Clark and Giles Terry Cooper and Leeds won't believe after the way they dominated the first half of this game that they're in this situation now it's they who are really chasing this game Chelsea who can afford to sit tight Hunter Charlton Hunter again Cooper
Tommy Baldwin gets possession for Chelsea. And plays it long towards Peter Hausmann. And it'll be a foul by Hausmann, which gives Leeds United the free kick. Hunter quickly up on his feet again. And he'll take the free kick. So what awaits Don Reeves' team now in the few minutes that remain? Eddie Gray. Gray again from, Chir from uh, Giles. Now brings Cooper into it. There's his cross, Jones' his header, and Burnett his catch. Osgood. Bit of freedom now because Jack Charlton had gone forward and had stayed forward. Madeley now covering Hunter, but it's now Peter Osgood. There's a chance now, and it's into the net, it's offside, it's offside, it won't count. Hutchinson put it there, but the flag was up almost at once. And the goal will not count. And it'll remain Chelsea 2, Leeds United 1. Good run by Osgood. Playing the ball into Ian Hutchinson. But Hutchinson in that offside position. The goal ruled out. Now here's Cooper for Leeds. It's good run by him as well. Dempsey almost nonchalantly bangs that one away. Leeds throw. Still a lot of defending for Chelsea to do in this time that remains. But also the chance for swift breakouts as Leeds concentrate so much now on their attack. Osgood. Back again to Osgood. And now Cook. Houseman in towards the near post Hutchinson there again but the flag once again is up a free kick to Leeds Dave Sexton knows that the cup victory is now less than 10 minutes away if his side can hold on Leeds coming for them again once again Chelsea hold Leeds at bay Houseman plays it down the line, Hollins galloping after it once more. And tries to find uh, well, Ian Hutchinson in the middle there, but Hutchinson's header was way off the mark there, under a lot of pressure from uh, Paul Madeley. And back it goes to uh, David Harvey. And Chelsea going to bring on Marvin Hinton, their substitute. Harris. Now Hollins. Getting word that it might be Osgood who goes off, but here's Osgood on the ball at the moment. And uh, Leeds make the clearance with Jack Charlton, who's back and defending at the moment. Here's Eddie Gray, storming through the middle now. Bremner right up amongst the attackers. Jones trying to make something of it, but Chelsea now defending very stubbornly indeed, as they'll need to do, as Giles. But the ball goes into touch for a Leeds United throw. And it's Osgood who goes off as the substitution is made, and Marvin Hinton who's on as Bonetti takes that catch. Obviously the view that uh, Chelsea 2-1 ahead, Dave Sexton felt that Marvin Hinton, the defender, comes on, can uh, bolster that defence at the expense of an attacker like Osgood. Tactically that's very sound, and that wasn't very sound by Bonetti, and in the end it was McCready who had to head it away. So there was a foul on the keeper, and Chelsea get a free kick. Bang on the head for David Webb. 
Score of the goal that's put Chelsea 2-1 ahead. And number 12, Marvin Hinton now, as you can see, taking up a good, solid defensive position for Chelsea as Dempsey bangs the ball clear from that free kick. Leeds with a little more than five minutes left now to pull this game round. Pretty rash challenge there. The throw goes Leeds United's way. Eddie Gray. And Dempsey plays it. Yes. Off the corner flag for a throw. Nick Jones with it. Oh, they're going to leave it for Eddie Gray to play it into the centre. Lorimer to try and make something of it. And indeed that came off John Hollins for the corner. One of the Chelsea players kicked it behind the goal to waste a bit more time. And Alan Clark saying to the referee, I hope you'll notice that ref and add a bit of time on. Well, by my watch it's about five minutes now to go. At the end of a pulsating night of cup tie football. And Chelsea just hanging on in there. It's Cook who got it away, but not very well. And a little flick, and it's still not away until Webb makes it clear for Chelsea. But with that amount of uh, white shirts in that Chelsea penalty area, it just needed a touch from somebody, and it very nearly got the one that mattered. But in the end, Chelsea got it away. And they get it away again there with Charlie Cook banging it into touch. No, it didn't even reach touch. It's Peter Hausman. Madeley chasing him. Inside the last five minutes now. Chelsea still leading 2-1. Cook. Chelsea will want to dictate the pace now as McCready plays it wide, keeping possession for as much as and as long as they can. Harris playing it in. Now Leeds get possession. Giles springing forward again. As you can see now, five minutes to go. Cooper, Gray outside him. Free kick to Leeds. Troublesome moments these for the Chelsea defenders. Just outside the penalty area. And Lorimer's shot goes tamely wide. And that really was a waste of a free kick there for Leeds. Goal kick taken. And Harris striding forward with it. But uh, the ball then given away to Leeds. You would have thought Chelsea would have wanted to have kept possession for much longer than that. Because here come Leeds again. Giles hitting it long towards the white shirts that had gathered in that uh, Chelsea penalty area. Bremner couldn't make anything of it. He was beaten by Hollins there. It's a goal kick again for Chelsea. Chelsea's turn to take their time. Frustration for Leeds. Jack Charlton, you can see in the middle of the picture there, up amongst the attackers now. And that's no doubt where he'll stay. Well, that was a Chelsea header that put Leeds in possession as Jack Charlton tries to play it wide towards Mick Jones. Comes back in again. Bremner was right in there as well. Jones trying to get his shot in on the turn there. Bremner trying to make something and pick up the pieces, but nothing came his way. But it's a corner for Leeds. So the pressure remains on Chelsea, some two and a half minutes away from glory now. And Jack Charlton on the goal line just to make things difficult for them. Bremner number four up there. It's the corner coming in, oh, but a waste of a corner. You can see the reaction of Jack Charlton on the goal line there. Just when Leeds needed to have that played accurately into the penalty area for men to go for. Finishes up with a goal kick for Chelsea. 
and the clock ticks on. What a battle it's been for both these sides. And it's not over yet as Eddie Gray plants it again into that Chelsea pen. Just look at those white shirts are there that uh, Benetti got well underneath that one. Nodded on by a combination of Jones. I think it was in fact Clark probably who did the uh, got the final touch. Hunter. Chelsea just can't get possession now to get it out of their own half. That must be frustrating for their fans as Cooper brings it forward again. A delicate little cross coming in, an accurate one as well. Dempsey got up above them Hall. Giles trying to turn it back in again. Hunter's there also. Hinton gets it away and Hinton now can bring it clear for Chelsea. And will look to keep possession. Charlie Cook saying, you've got to come and get it off me. And still the clock ticks on. And Chelsea are almost there. It's back with Harris, their captain. Is he going to go up and get the cup in a couple of three minutes' time? Well, Leeds really have got to do something about it to deny Harris that honour. There was a foul by Norman Hunter on uh, Charlie Cook, kicking lumps out of the back of Charlie Cook. There was Hunter. A free kick for Chelsea. Fifteen seconds plus time to be added on. Hollins with the free kick. Chelsea can almost feel the cup in their hands now. McCready. Lorimer just touching it for Maidley. Back it goes to David Harvey. One thought in his head, get that ball forward. And hope that somebody up there can do something about it. But Chelsea again defending stubbornly once more. Giles plays it into the box again. It was Dempsey again with a header. And a shot that's gone well over the top there from Eddie Gray. And that could even be the last Leeds United effort. Once again, Dempsey takes the goal kick for the injured Peter Bonetti. And there goes the final whistle, and Chelsea have won the cup. Having come from behind twice at Wembley and behind here at Old Trafford tonight, after Mick Jones had put Leeds ahead in the first half, a terrific goal from Peter Osgood made it 1-1, and then the long throw from Ian Hutchinson was rounded off by David Webb 2-1. A delighted Dave Sexton, the Chelsea manager, who masterminded this Chelsea performance here tonight. Alan Hudson, you've got a glimpse of him who couldn't quite make it into the Chelsea side. But a Chelsea side overjoyed after the terrific effort they put into tonight, particularly when they were hard up against it throughout that first half. But it's a night of celebration for their fans. After a night of pulsating cup final football, Leeds battled and for so long looked as though they might have got it won. But in the end, Chelsea found the goals and the form that means that they go up to receive the cup. Ron Harris from Dr Andrew Stephen, chairman of the Football Association. Dennis follows the FA secretary alongside him. And Harris lifts the cup and Chelsea say it's ours. Peter Benetti, in spite of that injury, and John Hollins and Peter Hausman. Tommy Baldwin, who had such a difficult night against Terry Cooper. Charlie Cook, whose wonderful chip led to Peter Osgood's goal that started the Chelsea recovery. And Ian Hutchinson wearing the Leeds United shirt of Norman Hunter. I've got a feeling the FA dignitaries think that they are Leeds United players and say no the Chelsea players have got to come first <laughs> can that be? it's possible but Ian Hutchinson uh, was Chelsea through and through and Peter Osgood wearing Billy Bremner's shirt 
Well, it was Osgood scorer in every round that set Chelsea towards their celebration lap of honour here at Old Trafford tonight. And just listen to the reception they're getting from those Chelsea fans. That's been a real hard grafting battle for Chelsea. But they came through on top. And their name goes onto that FA Cup. Winners in 1970, beating Leeds United by two goals to one after extra time.